Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I appreciate every one of you for your support. With all your likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. I've been trying out these mini readings for the last two weeks. And I appreciate all the names I received in the comments to do these readings for you. Thank you for participating. I really appreciate everyone that has entered names for me to be able to pull for the drawings. It's really great. But I received my second comment in the beginning of this week of people not pleased with including others many personal readings in the zodiac sign readings. So I have a question for you guys. I can't please everyone all the time, but I like to please the majority. I would appreciate it if you let me know whether I should still include these little mini personal readings in the general zodiac sign readings or should I discontinue them. I'm game for whatever you guys would like. If you don't like them, that's fine. I can stop including them in the individual zodiac sign readings. And if you do like this format and you would like me to keep them, I'll be glad to do them for you. So if you would just enter into the comments, either keep for me to keep on doing it this way or delete to discontinue doing this. And there's another option. If you like, I could just do one video a week with just mini readings. And if you want that one, just put weekly. Okay, now that that's out of the way. We're going to be going to Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And I'm going to be working um, with your person that you're thinking about that's on your mind. What are they currently doing? What are their uh, thoughts about you? What are their feelings for you? And what action might they take towards you? So Virgo spread is going to be right here. And I'm going to keep on saying it because people are getting confused for some reason. So, And this will be a mini reading when the cards are over here. This will be a mini, mini reading over here. And this will be a mini reading over here. But when I'm working right in here, that's Virgo. That's the sign. Okay, so let's draw a name to start with. See who we have for the mini. Okay, got a name. Let's see. Oh, I feel like someone needs their chakras cleared out. If you feel a little stuck, get some um, energy work and get your chakras cleared because they feel a little stuck. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, who do we have? We have Mary. M-A-R-Y. Mary. So let's see what's going on from Mary. Get a card from Mary. Oh, okay. What's happening for Mary? Ooh, four of pentacles. Okay. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. So you're hanging on to something. Wheel of Fortune. You know, it's weird. I'm getting this feeling that you're, you're a collector. You collect things. You might have a lot of something or something. And I'm just getting, that just came out of the blue that Mary might have. Uh, be collecting things. But I feel like you're hanging on to something. And also, um, you achieve something. You're very proud of it. And the Wheel of Fortune, that means divine timing, something changing, something shifting for you. Let's see what we have for clarifier for this Four of Pentacles. page of wands okay so someone is going to send you something you you're holding on to say are you holding on to a grudge mary or is it holding on to a person well anyway you're going to have a contact from someone might be younger than you could be an aries leo sagittarius but they are going to contact you somehow there's communication here it also could be that you're starting something new here too and we have the emperor so this could be Aries. Very strong here. It could be an Aries. Someone in charge. Someone's trying. You know, it's weird. I feel also, I feel like someone's trying to take charge. Someone might be trying to control something here. Whether it's you or this person. But this person feels younger than you. Is it, I mean, could this be, Mary, could this be like your son or somebody? trying to take charge trying to hold on you're trying to hold on to stuff and they're trying to tell you to get rid of stuff i don't know i'm getting a that type of energy but a, well i'm gonna leave that because that's what i'm getting strong but the di divine time and destiny um things are going to change things are going to shift for you 
I feel like they're going to go in your favor. And Emperor could be also there's something changing. You might be getting a job, maybe someplace, um, a, a more powerful position. And you're going to get news of that, maybe. Okay, let me get a, um, let's see what sign we have for you. I might be reading a couple different Marys because it feels, um, it feels like that. It feels different. It feels like a couple energies coming in. We have Virgo and Gemini. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. And we have um, also very strong Aries here. Okay. Now, we're working on Virgo now. In the middle is Virgo. In the middle is a sign. Always here is a sign. The minis are off to the side. Okay. I hope that helps people that are getting confused. Okay, now, Virgo. What is your... Ooh, this is coming up first. This is what's currently going on with your person. And it's very strong because it popped out. So they're in Empress mode or they're very um, fertile at this time. They could be creating something new, a new business, a new lifestyle, um, a new home. Pisces energy there. They're moving, there's something happening here that someone is very um, fertile at this time and things are hidden but there's a lot of emotion and they're moving away from something. The, there's been too much emotion or hidden things that is, this person is moving on. They might be changing jobs or they could even be on vacation or um, just taking a trip. But um, they might have to travel to go somewhere to see someone or to do something. But whatever it is, it's just moving out of rough water into something better. Okay, now Virgo, what is your person's thoughts about you? What is Virgo's person's thoughts about them? What is Virgo's person's thoughts about them? Okay, they're trying to think whether or not they should put more work into this. They're trying to decide. But here, isn't it weird? Because they're, if they're coming across the Empress, they could see you as the Emperor. And they see that you guys are good together. But they don't know for some reason if they should put more time and effort into this. They're trying to decide. And they need to know more information before they can make up their mind about this. But their thoughts of you is that you're the Emperor. You're very strong and powerful, and maybe you have a very influential um, job, career. Okay, let's see. Virgo, what is your person's feelings for you? What is Virgo's person's feelings for them? What is Virgo's person's feel? Whoops. Wow. Whew. Well, that King of Swords with Justice, that's really very strong. I mean, the King of Swords wants the truth. They they want honesty, and justice is honesty. So there is someone, their, their feeling is maybe walking away from something to may come towards you and talk about this, talk about this honesty, talk about this justice. Libra energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, very strong Libra then. So yeah, this, so you might talk about... They might be coming towards you. They, their feelings are to go towards you to discuss something here, just to put things out on the table, to bring things out in the open. There's something that has to be settled here. There's something that has to be balanced out. They have to get to the truth of the matter. That's their feelings, that there has to be truth here. There's been too much hidden stuff for them. They don't like it, and they want the truth. Okay, now, what action will Virgo person possibly take towards them? What action would Virgo's person possibly take towards them? Wow. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, they want to cut things out that do not serve them. They want to get to the truth. They want, um, I'm getting a truce too. I'm getting feeling they want a truce. They want to manifest this new beginning with you. They've been through a lot. And they're looking like, okay, I've done this. I, I, it's weird how this guy is looking with the banjo head at the magician. This is what he's saying. I'm going to do this. I'm going to manifest this. I've been through so much. I can do this. I have no problem with manifesting this. Devil at the end. 
there might be someone that has vices or they're overdoing something, overindulging maybe in something or um, possessive, jealous. Capricorn energy could be just dealing with a Capricorn. This is like a energy sort of like lurking around. Not, I don't feel that it's too strong, but it's I almost feel like an annoyance. Okay, now we're going on to mini reading number two over here. Okay, let's see. And then after I do that reading, I'll clarify Virgo's cards. See what we get here. I'm trying to dig deep here. A little bit of heartburn. Might have been something someone ate. A little spicy, maybe. Okay, that feels good. And we have Callie. C-A-L-L-I-E. We have Callie here. Let's see what's going on with Callie. And over here, it's just going to be Callie's cards. Okay. Strength. Leo. You could be dealing with Leo. There's something that requires you to have strength. And Knight of Swords. So there is going to be some kind of communication. Someone's coming fast towards you or you're doing something quick. You might be going somewhere real quick and it might be caught. Might, you might need strength to do this. Let's see. Let's put a clarifier for the strength card. For Callie. Working on Callie here. Okay. Ooh, Eight of Swords. So there's something that's been on your mind that you've been mentally blocked, but you have the strength to get out of it. That's what this card is saying. You have the strength to conquer whatever it is that's bothering you. And I think this might be you moving on from something. And we have the Nine of Swords too. Wow, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. A lot of mental conflicts. Can't sleep at night. But you have the strength to pull yourself out of here. And it's going to happen quickly. You have the um, Nine of Swords or maybe even a Leo or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is going to help you. But this is going to go away. You're going to um, move that out. Let's see what sign we have. Okay. Interesting if we get a Leo or air sign now. But you got a lot of swords, so a lot of air here. A lot of mental um, anguish. and uh, But you also have the swords is going to save the day. <laughs> we have a Cancer. Okay, dealing with a Cancer and a Taurus. So those are the two signs that you could be dealing with too. Besides the air signs and the Leo. Okay, now we're clarifying Virgo. Okay, I'm in here now. Just in the middle here. Okay. Now, why is the Empress here for Virgo? But what's going on with their per current person they're thinking about? It's on their mind. Why is the Empress here? King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You are, um, this person is more or less, they're, they're very capable of um, starting something new. And they do it like very logically like whatever they start or whatever they um they can um create here they do it in a very logical manner they're very intelligent and they're very strategic is what i'm getting okay why is the moon here for your person pisces energy why is the moon here four swords okay now this person could be taking a little vacation maybe or they're um I almost feel like that at night at night time maybe they actually are able to um astral project or I feel like they're able to meditate and, and find their answers the hidden answers okay what about the six of swords for Virgo's person well, that's what's going on with them. Why is the Six of Swords here? Ooh, Three of Cups. So whatever is happening here with your person, they're going to celebrate. Whatever they're moving away from, moving towards something better, it's going to make them very happy. It's going to cause for a celebration. Okay, now why is... Um, okay, what Virgo's person's thoughts about them? What are going on with Virgo's person's thoughts? Why do we have this Seven of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. Okay, so they're trying to balance things out to put this work in. Here we have the two here and two here. It's a couple of decision cards. 
but this is working on it almost feels like okay I have to do one more thing here this is what I'm getting here for their thoughts about you so they want to balance things out and they want to take this pinnacle and they want to put it on this pile but they want to put it on the pile where it balances so it almost feels like their thoughts are they have one more thing to do before they come to you they just got to figure out how to do it where to put this pinnacle the pinnacle belongs in here somewhere I mean it looks like obvious spot looks like right there you have room for it but they're not they're looking at that spot and saying I don't know Maybe not for my Virgo wouldn't like it there. It almost feels like, yeah, they got to do it a little differently because of you. Um, they said you, you're not like a normal person they run into. You're different. You have, they have to do things a little bit differently. Okay, why do we have the two of swords here for Virgo's person's thoughts about them? Ooh. Well, they can't make up their mind. They have, they might feel like you have a lot of different people. A lot of different choices. There, and there's different ways of doing things. Yeah, I feel like the same with this. It's like there's a different way of doing things. Okay, let's see. Your person's thoughts about you, Virgo. Why is the emperor here? Wow. They think the world of you. They want this new beginning. They see you as very powerful. Very, um... In control and they want to bring this back around that's their thoughts they want to complete something here there is a cycle with the world is a cycle completed something has completed maybe you just uh, broke up with someone you completed a relationship got divorced or something ended and they want to come back in their thoughts aren't okay now it's a good time for me to come back in that they realize that now is a time that you are available okay okay Virgo your person's feelings for you why do we have this eight of cups here with their feelings for you Ooh. yeah they're moving away from something they're feeling they're coming in they're coming in on their horse and they're gonna they're gonna um they're gonna win you over that's how i feel they're gonna be triumphant that's what they want they want to stand out and they want to win your heart okay what about this king of swords why do we have the king of swords here for virgo's person's feelings for them Oh, the chariot. Wow. Okay, here's a lot of movement. You have the six of um six of wands. You have the eight of cups. And you have the chariot. So there's their feelings is definitely to make a move here. Move somehow. Move this long. They want to move like yesterday. The chariot is like really fast. So they want this to move on. And they're almost like, this is a major arcana. So they're gonna just like let go of the reins. There is no reins here. And they're gonna just go for it. That's their thoughts. They want to just go for it. And they want to get to this truth because we do have the King of Swords underneath here. Okay. Why is your person's... Why is it justice here for you? Virgo's person's feelings for them. Ooh. They want a commitment. They want to balance things out so that you guys can have a deep commitment. They're serious about this. You've got the Four of Wands. This is um, soulmate connection. 1111. That's their feelings for you. They want justice. They want to bring this together in balance. And they want it bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that's why I really feel. I feel like this person wants you bad. And they're moving towards you. Okay. What about the Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Swords here? For Virgo's person, possible action towards you. Ooh, yeah, they're cutting this heartache out. They, they there might have been a th if there was a third party, they they cut them out. They're done. That's what I feel like here. If there was the action, if they had to take an action and get rid of somebody in order to come towards you, they did. And it doesn't have to be like an, another to one person. It could be a way of doing things. It could be a job. It could be the way they um. I don't know what I'm getting with the way they process things. They're changing something in their life. They're cutting it out. Now, it could be, you know, if they had to cut out a family member or just, you know, not, you know, let them know what's going on here. They might be not telling them what's going on or friends or, or someone that interfered, a job, some kind of um, thing they did on the side. Whatever it is that it caused this heartache, it's gone. They're cutting it out. Okay, what about Virgo's energy, um, your person's, what their action they've taken towards you with this magician Virgo who 
nine of wands they're coming in with passion they're manifesting this passionate arrival they want to sweep you off your feet aries leo sagittarius okay let's see what about this nine of wands with the possible action they're going to take towards you virgo Ooh. okay nine one they're putting an ending to the burdens they went through the battle and now this this ten of wands saying this is, has ended they're done they're finishing it they're ending it they cut things out they're ending things they're taking charge okay and then we have nine cups on the bottom so they're going to bring you your wish fulfillment they're going to make you happy and by bringing you their your nine of cups they're just going to bring them their nine of cups they're very happy about this a lot of excitement here wow okay now let's do the last little mini reading over here on this side i'm doing the last one i'm gonna be just on the mini reading right now I'm pulling a Oh, either someone's sleeping or I could go to sleep. I feel very relaxed. Or did someone take a sleeping pill? I just feel really relaxed. I gotta get out of this energy. I fall asleep here. Let's see. Gabriel. G-A-B-R-I-E-L. Gabriel. Okay, let's see what we have for Gabriel. Or is it Gabriel? Gabriel? Gabriel. Okay, what do we have here? We have three of wands. Okay, so you did something. You started something. Um, you put it in motion. You're waiting for your ships to come in. And we have nine cups. And it's coming in. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Your wish fulfillment. Nice. So whatever you set into motion that you um, you started things out. You I think you like started something from scratch. You you got to a certain point And now you're just waiting for things. You Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for it to come in. Okay, let's clarify this three of wands. Oh, we have nine of wands. Okay, so you've been through a lot with this nine of wands. And you're also protecting whatever this is. I almost feel like you're doing something maybe on the side or a, either a side business or starting a new business. Or um, even if you put into motion like a contact with someone, you're protecting whatever this is. And we have the page of pentacles. So you are going to hear from some someone something. You're going to get an offer here. It's coming. And it's going to make you really happy. And it could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be about a job. You could have had a fight for this position. And now it's coming in. Um, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's see what sign we have. Or it could be a person. Maybe you did something and you're just and you had a fight for them. And now they're coming. In whatever way it resonates with you. Let's see what sign we have. Aries. Okay, in the bottom we have Virgo. So you could be dealing with an Aries or, or a Virgo. Alright, now we're going back to Virgo. I'm going to do a monology card. And then we'll find out um, what your person wants to say to you. And then we'll also pull some um, zodiac signs to see what signs you can be dealing with. Okay, let's see. We have Breathe Through the Tension, Full Moon and Scorpio. In the bottom deck, we have New Moon and Taurus. Know your worth. Okay, got to breathe through tension and know your worth. Don't settle for anything less. Let's see. Full Moon and Scorpio is... Ooh! Now that time I did open to the right page. Full Moon and Scorpio is... Breathe through the tension. There's a strong sexual energy around you now. The good news is that the sexual energy is very creative. After all, at least to the act that creates humans. A tense situation could be about to boil over so go carefully time spent outdoors will help you to calm your emotions as well as increasing your general well-being you need to find a balance between your emotions and your sensual side don't deny the part of yourself use the energy to create what you want wow so very creative time for you guys now let's see what did your person want us to tell you let's see what they want to tell you we have, I, it really was me, not you. So take, they're taking blame for whatever happened between you guys. I was like, 
I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. They were holding him back. Okay. And it's like, I know I made a huge mistake. Okay. And you are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. They might have said something to, because they couldn't handle, I, I think they couldn't handle the situation, how intense they felt about you, so they told you something else. Okay, I don't think I can take your reaction right now. Oh, so they come forward. They're not ready for how you're going to act if they come in. All right. Let's see what signs we could be dealing with for Virgo. We have Leo. We have Pisces. Sagittarius. Scorpio. And Virgo. So those are the signs you can be dealing with. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.